and I'm Anders. Welcome to the review. Nigel, what are we doing today? Oh, we're actually out and about. It's not allowed to that rest uh, uh, episode. We're doing lagers today. Now, we did a review on the best selling lagers in the UK, and that was uh, Carlsberg, Pilsner, Foster's Lager, uh, and Carly Black And I must say, it wasn't the best session we've ever done. We didn't really enjoy them that much. But we said then that we perhaps will do it on draft in a pub to see if it takes any difference. So here we are. So, the third best selling one um, was Carlsberg Pilsner. Uh, that's the first one we're going for here. 3.8%, much like the can. Um, See you on the other side. But I remember last time this was the least inoffensive out of the three. It just tastes a little bit watery, but it's okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's all right. So I'm halfway through this, and this isn't half as bad as I thought it would be. Um, it's quite watery at the start, but at the end you get a nice little sweet hoppy taste, and it's definitely got flavour. It's it's nothing to shout, uh, you know, home to it about, but it's it is really it's quite pleasant. I have to say, almost finished. I've actually quite enjoyed this. Uh, I think it has improved as I've gone through. You got that, you get the sweetness right at the start. You get the wateriness then hits. But then, as Anders said, you got that, oh, that nice hot hit at the end. And uh, it's not overly carbonated. It's, it's most enjoyable actually. Yeah, I'd, if I had to drink a lot in a pub, a cheapo one. I'd be, I'll be happy with that one. So there we go. We're finishing off on the, the Carlsberg. I think the conclusion we can draw from this is that Carlsberg is definitely better draft than it is in the tin. Um, yeah, I like it. It's, it's been it's been a pleasant drink. Chin chin. Right. We're on to the Fosters. I must say, we weren't looking forward to this. Uh, it was the most offensive out of the three we had last time. It was almost undrinkable. We, we, it was just sweet. It was disgusting. Ah, I'm hoping it's going to be nicer than draft. Cheers. Yeah, like Nice says, we're not looking forward to this. Um, I really like the glass. I, I really do. That, that's. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Well, I'm almost the end of this glass, and this draft is a thousand times better than the can. The can's almost undrinkable. It's just sweet and horrible. The can. This is still not fantastic, but it's, it's drinkable. Uh, it's, a bit, it's got a bit of a lemony aftertaste. Like your dish, like if you're making, you're washing up liquid, your lemon washing up liquid, when it's all dirty and at the end. That's what the aftertaste is. But apart from that, it's, it's okay. I, I'm really, really surprised. I can see why it smells. Right, honestly, it's a revelation. 
um, draft, I can see why you drink it. It's cold, it's refreshing, makes you feel a bit pissed. Um, if you're going to buy the can, I think you're clinically insane, but um, on draft, yeah, it, it, it does it. It's a good beer. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Carling. Uh, number one bestseller. Will it be any good? Um, let's see. Now, if I remember rightly, the Carlsberg out of can, it tasted all right at the start. It, I actually quite liked it, but then towards the end of the can, it was just the, it was just chemically rubbish and it was horrible. So I'm hoping that was the taste from the can. So anyway, cheers. Well, as you can see, I've only taken a couple of cups of this. Uh, I would say it's a bit syrupy. Uh, for, you know, I'm going to have to get to the end to give you a full declaration on this. Um, of the three, the least impressive. Out of the three beers, I've actually enjoyed this the least. It's been it's a bit more full body than the others, but it's been heavy and. I really have just not enjoyed it. I know it's the best selling beer in the UK, but I don't like it. But that's me. Uh, but it's drinkable. It's much more drinkable than it is at the can. The can, it had that horrible chemical taste we had at the end. I'm not getting that with this. So from that, it is a thousand times better than the can. But I still don't like it that much. Right, of the three we've done tonight, this is, mm, it's not a pleasant, but it's the least desirable, let's say. Um, it's a bit syrupy, a bit heavy. Um, I'd be, I mean, it's infinitely better than it is in the can. Let's not forget that. I think we've agreed that all three of these beers that we've had are better draft. But for this, no. We just did the three. It's the conclusion. Yeah, we've drank three lagers. Uh, all of them were far, far better than the cans uh, draft. So. That's, that was a plus. That's the, yeah. That's the take out from this. Yeah. I think they're all drinkable, very drinkable. Uh, my favorite from the day was the Carlsberg, uh, by far. But what was more surprising than anything, I think, was the Foster's, which from the can was just awful. And through gritted teeth, I'd say it's very drinkable in the pub. I didn't want to like it because it was so horrible in the can, yeah. but it was all right. Uh, I have to add a, a, a caveat here, yeah. which is I, I made a, a beer, uh, I did a homebrew, which wasn't very good and it wasn't pleasant, but if you stick it in the fridge, it masked a lot of the faults. And I think these beers are sold at such a, a low temperature that that might affect, you know, take out some of the nasty taste. I don't know. I, th I think that's, yes, because uh, it does bland down everything, the yeah. coldness. Yeah. Uh, the Carling was my least favourite today. Uh, the Carling was more on tap, the Carling on tap was more like it is in the can. Without the chemical taste yeah. that we got in the can. Whereas the Fosters and uh, the Carlsberg, make your pump, were infinitely better. 
Mm. Yeah. Um, than being it, draft, being on draft from, from the camp. So, in conclusion, if you're going to drink the best selling lagers or beers in the UK, drink them in pubs. It's much nicer. Don't buy them in supermarkets. Not nice. Anyway, like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear comments on. on please do. We, we get an awful lot of comments about lager, don't we? Yes. But yeah, go on, please do. Let us know what you think. And anyway, bye bye. Au revoir. <laughs>